I'm glad to be standing here today announcing the first, albeit tentative, steps towards unlocking international travel. We want a summer in which, with the help of vaccines and testings, we can reunite family and friends, travel to places we love. We want to start looking outward again. Red countries are those which should not be visited except in the most extreme of circumstances, where repeated testing and isolation in designated government hotels on return is compulsory. Non-UK residents who have been, been in a red country in the last 10 days will still be barred from entering the UK. I have to tell you now that due to concern about COVID rates and variants of concern, Turkey, the Maldives, Nepal must regrettably be added to the red list today. Amber countries form the biggest group. Uh, as with the red list, you should not be travelling to these places right now. Returnees will have to do tests on three separate occasions, once before departure, twice after arrival, and isolate in a place of their choosing for 10 days. Finally, we have the green countries, which you will have the opportunity to visit no earlier than the 17th of May, as long as you take a pre-departure test before returning to England and a second PCR test two days after you return. And with these green countries, you will not need to quarantine. And travellers will be glad to hear that we've been successful in driving down the costs of tests. However, by necessity, uh, this initial green list must be, I'm afraid, limited. So I'm announcing today that from May the 17th, you'll be able to travel to 12 green list countries and territories, which includes Portugal, Gibraltar and Israel. I regret the favourite summer destinations like France and Spain and Greece are not yet included, but every three weeks from reopening, we'll be reviewing the countries uh, to see how and where we can expand the green list.